back to games.com here, and today I'm going to be talking about my experience at VRLA. Well, part of it. VRLA is this absolutely amazing conference, which is the largest conference for immersive technology that there is out there. It's fantastic, and there's so many cool things to take a look at there, and I highly recommend going if you ever have the chance. It's just, VR is one of my favorite things ever, and if you've watched my channel, you probably know that. And education is another one of my favorite things, which brings me to Intel's Classroom of the Future booth, which is where I got to go before things got rolling. And that was insane. I'll tell you a little bit more about it in a second. So I'm sure you guys all know that I love education and stuff like that, and I love the internet being able to connect people over education, just like me taking CS50 at Harvard and me watching John Green's videos on Crash Course. And so that is already absolutely fantastic, but Intel is taking it a step further with their Classroom of the Future booth. I got to sit down and put on this VR headset, and then I was in the Smithsonian, which is one of my favorite museums ever. And so I got to look at the artwork a little bit, and then the crazy thing happened, which is Nora, who's the curator of the exhibit, got to connect to me while she was in Washington, D.C., and I was in L.A., over Sansar, who was also working helping the exhibit. And so we got to talk about the exhibit and all of the amazing artwork, and she told me stories and showed me things in the exhibits that I never would have seen myself. And so that was fantastic. She was such a nice person and absolutely amazing. And it still just baffles me that she was in Washington, D.C. and I was in L.A. And she was still telling me about the exhibit and showing me all of this artwork. And the artwork felt like it was actually real and it was really there and I was really seeing it. And there's a lot of little things in Sansar's technology that really help, including her arms moving when she talked and her avatar's mouth moved when she actually talked, which is also baffling and crazy and so that immersed me even more and so at the beginning I was just amazed by how amazing this technology was but I just slowly got immersed into it and sort of felt like that was real life and that was what I was seeing and so that was crazy and Nora herself said that the sculptures and uh, artwork that she was showing me over VR looked so unbelievably close to the real things. There was so much detail in the exhibit, and it honestly felt like I was really there. I'm going to show you some clips of my experience, but keep in mind that this is just a 2D look at what I was experiencing, and it doesn't really compare with what I actually saw. So when you're at Burning Man, the city of Burning Man is actually, Black Rock City is seven square miles across, so most people take bicycles across it and this is a bicycle that acts as a mobile zoetrope so if you oh, know what a zoetrope cool. is it's um yeah. yeah the very early early motion picture kind of things so it'll give you a picture and we can actually walk over here there we oh, go okay. so now you can really see the zoetrope happen oh that's an interesting shadow hold on i'm stuck oh there we go oh so cool yeah oh that's so wild. And at Burning Man, you would have three different people pedaling their independent unicycles, and the person in front gets to steer, and then um, Richard Wilkes, who's the artist, would come up behind you with a, a strobe light and let you spin the wheel, and he would operate this, the strobe light to make the motion picture happen, which is pretty fun. Oh, it's so cool. Mm-hmm. I can't believe I can see this in VR. That's wild. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Right? Pretty crazy, right? While it was extremely realistic, I got to do some things that I could never have done in real life, like climb on top of the art. And obviously nothing can really compare to going to the Smithsonian and seeing this exhibit in real life. But some people just can't make it out there. Maybe they just can't make the trip, or the exhibit will be closing before they get to go and see it, or whatever. And this is definitely the next best thing to actually seeing the exhibit in real life. I'd really love to go and see this exhibit before it closes and be able to give you a more of a comparison between seeing it in real life and seeing it in VR. But from Nora's experience, they're pretty close. And so that is crazy, and I'm so fortunate to have been able to go out to VRLA and see this. Thank you so much to Intel and Sansar for creating this booth and inviting me out to see it. It was absolutely fantastic, and I loved every minute of it. And it's definitely right up my alley, so I'm super excited to be sharing my experience with you guys. And I hope that you guys will be able to see some new stuff from Intel and Sansar in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to press the subscribe button to see more videos like this, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Uh -huh.